This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is advanced routing functions. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see alternate sequences. So how to create an alternate sequence and uh, what is the use of alternate sequences? We'll understand then parallel sequences. What are parallel sequences? What is their importance? How they are created? We will see alternate routing. What is alternate routing? We discussed it to some extent in our uh, basic routing class, but still we'll discuss what is alternate routing. Then a reference operation set and its use. What is reference operation set and why it is used? We'll see. Then lead time scheduling and updating the metal master. So what is lead time scheduling? What are the time elements? All those things. Then how to update it using metal master? We will see. Then scheduling time elements. What are scheduling time elements? Different time elements in the routing. Then interoperation timings in the routing. Uh, time uh, operation floats. We will see. Then what is overlapping? What is overlapping and why it is used? And finally, reduction measures. So these are the topics uh, we will be covering in the advanced routing functions. Okay. So uh, first, we'll start with the alternate sequences. Okay. So alternate sequences, alternate sequences contain operations that replace the operations in the standard sequence. Okay. So normally, whenever we create a routing. Routing, uh, it is considered as a standard sequence. So standard sequence is your operations. Okay. Apart from that, sometimes what happens is uh, due to some uh, process industry nature, what happens is uh, those operations they will perform in a different way, in a different sequence. Okay. So that is called alternate sequence. I will show you this in the system. Okay. Alternate sequences or linked to the standard sequence okay so whenever you create a routing first it will create a standard sequence by default then you create an alternate sequence and you will link this to the standard sequence i'll show you this in the system branch operations in the standard sequence are ignored in the procedure okay so there will be a branch operation so those are not considered we'll see that in the system okay you can only create alternate sequences in the routings okay so these alternate sequences functionality only applicable to your routings not the other task list okay so if you see this one you will understand suppose let's say you have a routing you have a routing with standard sequence it is having four operations sorry five operations operation 10 20 30 40 and 50 but sometimes due to some uh, reasons what happens is they will not execute 40 okay they will not execute 40 operation 40 operation okay instead of that what they do they execute operation 10 and they execute another operation called 50 with a different work center okay then operation 20 as usual then 25 then 30 that's all so there is no execution of 40 and 50 okay so this operation 15 and 25 are executed on different work centers so this will become a alternate sequence one okay and also you can have multiple alternate sequences also multiple al alternate sequences okay so now we will understand uh, how to create this uh, in the system and then how they are used in the production orders okay so let's go to the system Okay, so let, let us take a material. Okay, so I'll take this product alternate sequences demo. Okay, so if you take this one for this product, I have already created a writing. So if you go to see, please be please be on mute. Okay, so if you go to routing of that product. Okay, I have already created a routing. If you go to routing, as of now, if you see, it is having five operations. 
1 operation 10 20 30 40 50 by operation sir okay so now here uh, uh, try to understand the concept whenever you create a routing by default it will be considered as a standard sequence standard sequence by default okay so whenever you create a routing so i have created this routing if you see here there is a button called sequences if you click on that see it is considered as a standard sequence and the sequence category is if you click on the list you see the sequence category is zero standard sequence so by default whenever you create a routing it will be considered as a standard sequence standard sequence with category zero so so when you create a routing you create a routing by default it will take you to it will create a standard sequence standard sequence okay and the category is zero now apart from this we can create alternate sequence which we are going to discuss now alternate sequence sequence and we will be we will be creating parallel sequence also sequence okay uh, so let's come to so this is the one so now now what is the sequence here if i go to operations again first we are we are performing 10 20 30 40 50 so our sequence is our standard sequence is what is the standard sequence 10 after 10 20 after 20 30 after 30 it is 40 and after 40 it is this is a sequence but let's say due to some some xyz issues they want to club this 30 40 they want to perform sometimes on a single machine so they want to have an alternate sequence like this they want to have an alternate sequence like this suppose let's say 30 40 they want to perform on a single machine let's say the operation is considered as 30 sometimes sometimes they will use this sequence with all these work centers on for these operations and sometimes this one so this is considered as an alternate sequence so now let's create this alternate sequence so how to create is you go to the routing in the change mode let's go to change mode in the routing enter so already we have the our standard sequence now go to sequences okay now here you see here there is a button new entry you need to click on this button already we have a standard sequence but now I, we want to create an alternate sequence so click on this button new entry then it will ask which one you want to create alternate sequence or parallel sequence i want to create a alternate sequence so select the first radio button just click on the button continue so you will be getting this screen okay here the sequence number is one that's okay now give the description entire heating process okay give the description okay now the most important thing is branch operation and return operation so here our branch operation is what is our branch operation 20 so from 20 we want to move to alternate sequence so your branch operation should be 20 okay and your return operation will be 50 after few, after performing 35 you want to go back to the 50 operation okay so your return operation should be 50 after this after this you will be getting this one that's okay now now for this alternate sequence the sequence this is the one okay and now you go to operations so now you enter your operation so my my operation is 35 okay enter the work center so let's say that my work center is triple one nine okay heat entire heating process so let me put this entire heating process so what is the difference here is these two operations sometimes they perform on a single work center whatever the activity they do on operation 30 and 40 sometimes they perform 
on an individual machine, say on the same machine together, these two operations. So that's why we are clubbing them basically. Okay, entire heating process, enter 